in name it, verb it, finish it, there are three parts that we're going to have in the name it. It's the type of text, the title, and the author's name. Type of text is a really good way of saying that. It's not always a genre. Here in the fable, it is a genre, but it's not always a genre. Sometimes it's a scientific activity or an experiment that we're doing. Uh, sometimes it's in the model. Sometimes it's in an illustration or a picture or a video. It's not always a genre. That's why in the Common Core Standards text is really that umbrella that really covers everything. And so the type of text would be the best name for it. Then we have the type uh, or the title of that piece. Here you can see uh, the fable is called uh, The Crow in the Picture, and then the author is Aesop. Now, we don't always have an author's name. Many of you know that when you get any kind of writing piece, sometimes what you'll get is uh, there'll be no name on it at all, right? You don't know who the author is, and so we teach the kids just to be able to write the author. Sometimes it's the scientist, sometimes it's a historian or a mathematician, so it really depends on the piece. And by the way, name it, verb, finish it is not an ELA thing. It really moves across all our curriculum, perfect for science, but also perfect for math and for history and whatever other content that you have. We put the verb there and then we finish it by having the main idea. If it's RI, you know, if it's an informational passage, if the reading is narrative, we can do the theme. Um, if it's in this case in a, a fable, then you have the moral. So that finish it piece is really to give, what is this mainly about? So you can see it all here in one sentence in the fable, the crow in the picture, Aesop teaches readers that little by little does the trick. So we wanna have all of those together and teach that strategy.